no matter how your time is spent on the water. Wholesale Marine has the parts and supplies that you need at the price you want. At Wholesale Marine, our associates have over 500 years of combined boating experience to help you make the most of your time on the water. Visit WholesaleMarine.com. Alrighty guys, so now we got our pilchards, but now we're gonna get the pinfish, which is a great grouper bait. Catch a lot of fish on pinfish, so we're gonna check our traps and see how the haul is. Got bait. Alrighty guys, today we're gonna be hitting the reef and the wrecks. What I like to do is anchor up on these uh, deep wrecks. We get mutton snappers, big yellow tails. Uh, we're gonna anchor, chum, and show you how it's done. You guys ready for it? Yeah. All right, let's get going. Use the anchor trusted by professionals. Fortress anchors are designed lighter, set faster, and provide stronger holding power than the competition. For the best value in anchoring safety and convenience, use the legendary Fortress anchor. Anchored up here, you can drop it down slow, you can hook them through the nose, and then, and then they'll stay nice and lively. So now, whenever you get the bite, you just want a reel to set the hook. Mono's got 20% stretch, so you're gonna have to really wind, 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 wind to take the bow out of the line, the stretch, to really drive that hook home when it's down 140, 150 feet of water. No. I'm gonna do a chicken rig. So we tie a loop in the bottom, and then I just do, you know, just double up the line, and then just do, you know, go inside there four or five times, and then just pull that tight. And now I'm gonna take a little more line, you know, right here, and then I'll do another dropper loop. Just an overhand knot, and just go inside there four or five times. And that's that. It's just straight 30 on this. So now I'll put my weight here, a hook here, and a hook here. So I'm just gonna put that on there like that. It loops it around. Yeah, that one there, it's easy to take on. So what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna take this loop, and we're gonna loop this hook on. Just go through there, just like that. And then just put the hook right through there, just like that. Yep, so it's easy to take on and off. Now, if I was gonna store this, for riding, then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off the sinker, I'll take the hooks, I'll hook them together, take off the sinker here, yeah, and then just use the loop to do that, and then I can go to my next spot, and that's the easy way to store it.
once I anchor and I know that we're set, you know, I left the motors running, you know, for, you know, probably 20 minutes just to make sure I'm not going to drag or swing too much. We're still perfect. And so now I'm going to shut down my units. I killed the motors. The nice thing is with these Ferunos is that I can kill off my uh, transducers, but then still leave my GPS on. So I just hit the power button and then turn off this transducer and then turn off that transducer. And then it puts it on standby and then just hit device and it powers down just that device instead of the whole network. All right, Megan. So here, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna get you to fly this kite. The reason why we fly these kites, we're gonna put this out beyond the boat and we have these three clips on here. This way here, we can hang up the three baits out there and just let them dangle, kind of set it and forget it. But first, let's get the kite up, okay? So what we're gonna do here, this is like a light wind, medium wind kite. This white one flies very well from Tigris, outriggers and gear. And basically, I like to deploy it from the front of the boat. That way there, you don't have anything in the way, you know, blocking your wind. So here, I just hold the kite rod in my right hand, the kite in my left hand. I kind of just pop it up into the wind right there. So you see how it's staying steady? And then what I do here is, is actually back off the drag as opposed to just opening up and doing full on free spool. And then we just ease it on out to where we want to get it to. And just like that. A lot of people like to get to the spot and throw lines in right away. So the last thing you want to do on the reef, especially when it's clear, you want to chum, give it 10, 15 minutes if you have to. Make sure all that fish are all eating back there. And then start with one line. You hook one, that's another, and then, then two lines. Kind of take your time with it. The, the easier you go with the fish, the more you're going to catch. Nice lady. Get the main gear in the boot. Yeah. Get a mackerel. Species alert. Got a zero mackerel on the line. Coming in, boss. Coming in, boss. Cool. Look at that. So I'll show you a cool trick with that yellowtail. The width of a five-gallon bucket is 12 inches, actually. So if he's across there, that's like 13 inches or so. See how it's hanging off? He's a keeper. Sandwiches for everybody tonight. Little mutt mutt. There you go. All right. Mutton snapper. There you go. Yellow tail. Up and in. There we go. There you go. Nice yellow tail. That'll work, Cap. There you go. Okay. How's that yellow tail bite? It's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So on this one, I'm going to take him and I'm going to kind of scale him, pull a little bit of the scales off in the back. We're going to split tail this battle here. I'm going to go right down his spine, come up under here. We're going to go halfway down. You don't really want to go down all the way. What you're doing is pulling that filet off there, like that. Come around here to this other side. Go down. Same thing, you want to kind of put the knife not all the way through. You want to kind of keep it right over the edge. So what we've done is we've pulled the spine 
off of the fillets of the fish without any holes in it. What you're gonna do is take this knife, and you're gonna pull the series of bones that are back here that connected to this tail. Pop it off, pull this tight, and pull this right out. That is a true deep bone valley here. The point of it, break the tip off, the point of it is for it to sit back there on the bottom and have way more action. It's gonna swim and be more erratic in the water column. You're gonna hook it right through the head, just like that. That's the hardest part on a ballyhoo other than behind the gills, but it's gonna pull his head. Let's see what happens when it hits the bottom here. Yeah, while you're dropping, you wanna keep the tension on the line. You don't wanna to go too fast because when you're down there, the lead will be bait to the bottom, and then it will spin up over his butt. Fighting like a nice mutt. I never even hit the bottom, by the way. Really? Oh, you fighting like that. That's a mutt. He's fighting like a mutt. You got the leader right there, huh? Nice mutt. Just up. Nice mutt. Yeah, I caught that like at least 20 feet off the bottom. Crusty Bally here. <laughs> Beautiful fish. Yeah, pretty. No matter how your time is spent on the water, Wholesale Marine has the parts and supplies that you need at the price you want. At Wholesale Marine, our associates have over 500 years of combined boating experience to help you make the most of your time on the water. Visit WholesaleMarine.com. always no rods on that side you're gonna turn at like a 45 degree angle once you get it out away from you then I like to turn you know back towards it and it'll bring it up all the way to the surface If you're headed out for a day on the water, make sure you visit Tom Thumb Food Stores. Get your food, drinks, fuel, and ice all in one place. Perfect for your on-the-go Florida lifestyle. Fast, fresh, friendly. Tom Thumb Food Stores. 